today I'm going to do a little bit different of a video. I don't know what came over me today, but I decided it was a great day to dye my hair. Um, as you can see, the ends of my hair already have a little bit of color in it. I think it's going to be showing up a lot more pink on camera than it is in real life. I always try to get like funky haircuts and it just never works. So I like my hair the way it is right now. I actually, I'm okay with the length. Um, and my bangs, I had like these short little bangs um, earlier in the year, but they've grown out and I like it that way. So I figure I can get away with like a conservative hair style if I have like funky color in it. So yeah, I guess it's my way of rebelling. At 33, I'm still rebelling. It's faded a lot since I first did it. I'll insert a picture here. It's just kind of peachy at this point. Um, yeah, it just kind of looks weird. So I decided I don't want pink again, even though I still have a ton left from the kit that I got. I'm going to do purple. This is the box that I got. I got it from Walgreens and right now with your balance reward card it's on sale for $7.99. So it's Lusty Lavender which I find kind of hilarious. I don't want my hair to be this purple. I'm hoping that it comes out a lighter purple. Um, I love Kelly Osbourne's hair so I wish I had the balls to do my entire head but I don't. <laughs> So we're just going to stick with the ends. So let's open this box and see what's inside. This is the same brand that I used last time. So I'm familiar with it. Um, it does last a long time. I mean, this is from July. So yeah, if you're going to do this, make sure that you're committed. It comes with bleach, which I'm not going to use. I think it should be able to take it pretty well. Fingers crossed. If not, I'll just cut my hair. And there's a packet. I just dropped my BB cream in the toilet. Okay, I'm going to shut the toilet. Uh, there's a little packet inside. And it has... Gloves. And instructions. Which I'm not going to even bother with. Then we have the dye. Ooh, I'm getting nervous. This we don't need because this is for the bleach and I'm not doing that. And then we have, it comes with two of the tops and I only need one. So I'm going to put this stuff that I don't need back. I'm going to go grab some foil because I'm so prepared. And then I'm going to show you how I personally dip dye the ends of my hair. I'll be right back. I just got my foil and I got this um, and then I just grabbed the scissors and I'm just going to cut squares of foil. When you're cutting your foils, I suggest cutting them a lot larger than you think that you need because, because you don't want to have dye squeezing out. Also, wear a dark colored shirt, preferably black, because you will probably get some dye on you um, and if you have a light colored countertop or light colored carpet, anything, cover it up as well as you can because if the dye gets on anything, it's going to color it. I learned that the hard way the first time I did this. Make sure that you cut a lot of foil because when your hands are all covered in dye, you don't want to have to take your glove off and then try to cut more foil. So. More is better. You can always use the extras to wrap up an onion. Alright, I got all my foil done. And I'm going to grab gloves. I'm not a fan of these giant Mickey Mouse gloves. So I went and I grabbed um, a more substantial rubber glove from one of the zillion hair dye kits that I got like last year when there were money makers at CVS and I bought way too many. <laughs> now I'm going to find my brush. A beauty girl. I am not out. Please hold for the next available brush. Found one. Okay, I'm gonna brush my hair out really good. And 
The best part about this dye application is that precision is not key. <laughs> Just make sure it kind of looks the same. When I first dyed my hair the original time, like one side was low, one side was high. So a couple days later, I actually went back and I like evened it out. But it's kind of a pain to dye your hair and have, you know, your shower look like a unicorn murder scene all pink. So hopefully this time I can get it right the first time. Kaput. Done. Okay. I need to find more clips. Ah. Okay. So I got all my clips. <laughs> Apparently I like to keep clips all over the house because I had none in the bathroom. So I'm going to section my hair. Um, trying to get it as halfway as I can. You guys ever find that like this part of your head seems to have just like the most hair even though it seems to have the least? That's what I find anyway. Like magically when I get to that section it's like oh god he grew like tons of hair. Ah! Okay. <laughs> and I'm scaring the crap out of my dog. Okay that's up there. Um. Clip stupid bang part. Now I'm going to take my hair and divide it in half and then we're going to divide this in half as well. So I'm going to just clip that. I suck at this. It's a reason why I don't do beauty video. This one, I'm going to do the same thing. And you know if you miss a small section, it's okay because this is not a precise thing. Here's our bottle. We don't need to shake it, but I'm going to. Anyway, just for good luck, our little nozzle tip, we're going to put that on. See, purple. Put on your glove. Now, I should probably have two gloves, but I don't. I only have the one. Because you're going to use your hand as a brush because we don't have a brush. This kid doesn't come with a brush. I'm too lazy to go buy one. So basically what I did the last time is I just took my hair, just take it, put some color on it, <laughs> poop some color on it, and then just work it in. You know what? I'm not even going to use the foil right now. I'm just going to use... Yeah, I'm going to have purple hands. Okay, let's do this. Just smush it in. Try to get it all over. Smush. Then, when you got it covered pretty well, I like to go up just a little bit higher with just like the excess because then you're going to get more of that like ombre look. Then you can take your foil, you can kind of like smush it on there and then like so. Is it the most professional way to do it? No. Am I a professional? No. Oh Christ. Now let's do the next section. Like I said, on camera, these pink parts are showing up really bright. In real life, they are barely noticeable, which is annoying. Let's take more dye. It's a lot of dye. And do the same thing. Kind of mush it around, and then we're going to mush it into the hair. Make sure you get it on both sides. This is why I say wear a black top, especially with purple. Or wear a white top if you want to 
have a fun colored <laughs> effect. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, there's some strands that don't have a lot on it, but I'm okay with that. I'm just going to twist this up. Okay, and then we're going to smash it into the foil. Do a one-handed jobby. And we're good. Yeah, not professional. <laughs> I'll poop some into my hand, and let's just keep going. Alright, so I got the first section done. I'm actually going to take my glove off. This is why I should have two pairs of gloves. Um, I'm going to take this off and toss it. I guess I will have to use the Mickey Mouse gloves. Good job, me. Let's do the top section now. And it's the same thing. We're just going to section this. I think I'm going to be a little bit, um, more organic this time around. Put my Mickey Mouse glove on. Like Dunculus. Let's grab this section. And go to town. a foil on it. Mm -hmm. My precise crumple technique. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't want it in my bangs at all, so just gonna make sure I get it. I wonder if I can one hand clip this. Ooh. two sections. Woo woo. Thank God. I'm kind of like squirting it into my hand and then I like mush it so it's on all sides. I think that's kind of a good way to go about it. By the way, my hair is not clean. Um, I washed it on Friday and it's Sunday. I usually don't wash my hair um, super often just because my hair is so coarse and um, it's naturally curly so I find the more I wash it the drier it gets. I wash it when it needs to be washed, put it that way. Last section. Woo -woo. My dog is looking at me and she's like, who are you talking to? <laughs> Alright, now... Done with this ick. Okay, now I'm going to wash my hands. I'm going to let this sit in here for like another 10 minutes or so. Um... Then I will take it out and jump in the shower and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, I just watched the footage back and I realized that a lot of the time you can't see what I'm actually doing in my hair because you should see the setup I have in my bathroom right now. I have giant rubber bands wrapped around my medicine cabinet that's holding my flip cam. So I apologize if you didn't see um, everything, but I'm going to take the foil out now and then I'm going to jump in the shower and wash all this out and pray for the best. <laughs> so um, I just want to show you taking them out and then um, I will come back and show you the finished product. 
with it all dry and curled and holy sh nights are these are purple. <laughs> well, I wanted purple hair. Okay, is that it? Yeah. Got all the clips out. Okay, hopefully this washes out a lot because I want lavender. <laughs> But we'll see. Alright, bye! Here is the finished product of my newly purple hair. I really, really, really like it. I like it better than the pink when I initially did the pink. Um, and I know I'm going to like how this fades a lot better. So I'm looking forward to it fading, but I actually, I do like the color right now. I just blew it dry and then um, I used... My favorite curling iron, it's a Hot Duels curling iron that I got at TJ Maxx actually for like 20 bucks. I think that this is a inch and a quarter. I just, you know, the basic curling of the hair. Oh, but I do want to show you my uh, hair dryer because this thing is kind of a beauty secret. And um, mine is all jacked up. As you can see, it's missing teeth. It's all gooked up and gross. But I've been using this hair dryer for years and years and years and years. Um, my dad always used one, so I always used one too. <laughs> I have naturally curly hair. You can see, I mean, I didn't like, I never really straighten it totally, especially when I'm curling it, because, I mean, you kind of want it to look not completely done. Um, but this thing will make my curly hair straight. And it is blowing dry as you're combing. And it's so fast. And it just, I, don't, I think it's because you're putting heat on in a downward motion. But it also just makes your hair shiny. This one is called the Con Air Ion Shine. Well, there you go. Um, 1875. I know you can buy these at like um, Walmart or Target. So if you want a good like blown out and you don't, want to have to juggle a hair dryer and a brush at the same time, definitely look for one of these because um, it's amazing and I love it. So yeah, there's the finished product. I'll show you the back. Here's the back. Ding, ding, ding. So yeah, I like it. I'm in love with it. I'm happy I don't have any more peach hair. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you find some guts to do it to yourself and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!